Hello, my name is Linda Como, and welcome to Constellations Interviews for our upcoming conference, October 5th to 8th in Virginia Beach. Our conference theme this year is Bridging the Divide, Healing the Personal and Collective Soul. And I'm super excited today because we have someone that's working in this realm already, Lisa Iverson. Welcome, Lisa. Hello, Linda. It's great to be with you. Great to meet you. I'm super excited. Lisa's uh, conference presentation is Loving What Is in America's Ancestral Blueprint. And uh, so today we're going to spend a little time talking about her workshop. So Lisa, um, tell us, when you thought of the opportunity to present, what were you thinking about for this workshop? Well, <clears throat> thanks for asking. You know, what's always with me in this field um, since the beginning when I was introduced to it in the late 90s is the larger historical context in which um, the constellation work um, arrives in the US and in North America. I'm an American, it's my home country, the United States. And so, um, you know, the work developed on German soil with the context um, that exists in the backdrop there in Germany and in Europe. And, um, you know, we have a rather, our history is what it is here in the States. And um, it's uh, one in which uh, it's easy for us because of the history that we have, there's a human temptation to not look at particularly the place of uh, the perpetrator in our American history. And, you know, to a degree that's true on all soils, but um, we have a good, you know, 400 year history here <laughs> with our colonial history, our genocidal slavery trauma bonds, um, that this is, this is the context for the work as it arrives in the U.S. And so for me, it's one that um, is a necessary one to be in all of our conferences, uh, an essential aspect, um, because it is the one in which we are all living and working. So that's the short story, happy for more dialogue about the topic because it's a rich one. Well, I love that it's evolved as I learned about constellations. It was more focused on family. And I assume that's also where you got started, given your background. But uh, now it's, yes, the more societal, collective community approach is gaining ground and visibility. So it's a great breakthrough, I think. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I think the same thing as what you've just said at the same time, I, I, what I also see is that as Americans, we're pretty sneaky <laughs> about all the ways in which we want to get away from our family. And so <laughs> that is also our American history, that it was founded on disconnection from family. And so we, I think, are invited to really watch ourselves, how much we may, out of our own commitment and even entanglement with our history, our desire to stay in innocence, be committed to goodness, that we may want to work on this larger scale of collective healing also in a kind of a, an, a blind love's attempt to get away from our family. And so for me, the intersection of family and these collective histories is really important to pay attention to. And so continuing to come back to our parents and our grandparents and where we belong as daughters and sons and how to access the field of humility that comes from uh, receiving life from our parents is necessary soil and foundation to be able to work in a good way with these larger histories. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Super. Super. And do you like to work in any particular realm, um, say a um, uh, societal issue at, at any point, Lisa? It's all family. Uh -huh. It's all about family. So for me, it's not 
um, about a particular issue. It's all about being able to see the way in which all the issues were drawn to want to um, make a difference in. Um, there's an invitation, a deep one from the soul to keep coming back to our own family and historical roots. Uh -huh. So um, otherwise we're attempting to fix and change something that doesn't need fixing. Right. So yes. It's all about, again, continuing to come back to the foundation of this work that has to do with acknowledging what is. It's easy to miss that out of our humanness. So, you know, the biggest thing that we are in process with, as far as I can tell, um, has to do with continuing to come back to this task of acknowledging what is. And the more we can do that, the more that that makes a shift with whatever the issue is that our heart um, is inclined toward wanting to make a difference in. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, true. And you've written a book about this, haven't you? I have. I just happen to have a copy. Please my show friend, us. My <laughs> friend Linda asked me to go get one. Here it is. <laughs> Excellent. Ancestral Blueprints Revealing Invisible Truths in America's Soul. Oh, that's excellent. And I hope you're going to have a copy at the conference. I think it's a very good idea. Thank you yes. so much for that yes. idea. Yes. <laughs> I'll be talking to my friend Susan Alfelder as well. Thank you to shout out to Hellinger DC, that fabulous bookstore, online bookstore, doing a great service for us. Yes. So. Yes, excellent. Shout out to Hellinger DC. Right. So in your session, are you going to actually be doing a collective piece for everyone yeah, it'll be very experiential we'll be doing collective pieces we'll be having um kind of mini um exercises constellation experiential um ways in which we can access how these histories in our family um histories who we are um are living inside of us i developed a series with a colleague of mine kate regan called um an embodied dialogue with the internalized colonizer several years ago. So I'll be modeling some of what I'm doing um, after that series. Um, we'll have lots of ancestral prayers. We'll have some time for dialogue, um, just old fashioned um, talking with one another about what there is to notice and also how these collective histories have an effect on the constellation field itself, practitioners, how we are with one another, how the work develops in this part of the world. So it'll be a rich session and I look forward to being with others who are inclined to join me. Excellent. That's going to be great. Oh, well, thank you so much for your time today. Um, anything else to add before we go? I want to thank you, Linda. You're doing a fabulous job inviting those of us who've been in this field for however long we have been to, um, you know, be in conversation with you. It's really a service for this whole field. So thank you. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Lisa. So Lisa will be speaking at our conference October 5th to 8th. Uh, you can get more information at our website, nasconstellations.org. Our theme for the conference is Bridging the Divide, Healing the Personal and Collective Soul. So thank you for joining us today. Looking forward to seeing you at the conference. And thank you, Lisa. Thank you, I'll see you soon. I can't wait to meet you in person. Likewise, likewise. Thanks so much. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.